The following is a fan-based parody. Please support the official release. I can't believe it's finally my birthday. Who ordered the molestation star for the party? We should celebrate our progress. We should celebrate your progress. Garnet's painting the letters for the banner and then has her hands on said wet paint. Also, I'm sure gems don't have any money, but they're drilling to the center of the earth for fuck's sake. You couldn't find any other way to make this banner other than to paint it? Birthday! Thanks! Welcome to the party. May I offer you a refreshment? Oh, Why was he keeping those in his pocket? And how did they not all pour out since he had the straw on them to begin with? Clink! So, this is the barn. Do you really need more of those rape face stars? I'm surprised your parents are letting you stay for the weekend. And Garnet has been working on the same line of the same banner since the episode started. With every piece of safety gear on the planet. What should I do with this defibrillator? Show some kids in Battlefield, I guess. Alright, move it, Connie. I was his best friend first. Happy birthday! Okay, Schnooball. Did Connie's mouth just freeze, or can she really not fathom the fact that his dad might want to give him a hug? He's old. Steven, you're 14? Yeah, but I'm only 12 and 3 quarters. Remember Jared from Subway? He's inspired a lot of people. Toddler. What's it called? Adolescent. 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 Hmm, 9, 11, Illuminati confirmed. Oh, uh, sure. Be right back, kiddo. Obligatory pee joke. So he's not going to grow up. Well, it's hard to say. He the defibrillator has a reading even though it's not even on. It's hard to say. He's a gem and gems don't really grow up. That's racist. <laughs> Steven can clearly tell he's not tall enough to hang up this banner, and only does so so Amethyst can show off her shifting powers to inspire the problem of this episode. Red, John up here! Ha, how's that? Oh yeah, come on! Amethyst's left hand is clearly not holding the side of the banner. Oh, it looks great! There's my B-Day guy! Uh, what's up, Dad? And how does she get it to stay on there without any nails, tape, or glue? Are you feeling okay? Huh, you look good, Steven. Oh, <laughs> thanks! So he didn't just grow, he literally aged himself. Voice and all? Man, must have been some awkward 15 seconds. It's totally cool! Alright then, let's get this party started. <gasps> yeah! Shouldn't Steven be the one to blow out the candles on his cake? This time you are older than me. You should sneak me into a PG-13 movie sometime. No, I'm just kidding. I would never ask you to break the law. Connie's more of a nerd than a certain purple pony princess I know. Up for the rest of my life, no one will suspect a thing. No, seriously, what are they doing back here? Why are you doing this? It really isn't like you. It isn't like Steven developed a problem based upon his own feelings of inadequacy so that we have something to progress the plot along? You're gonna throw up. Oh yeah, e everything's fine. Okay, that's good. You know... So even the stars are diamond shaped. I mean, Steven's shirt has a normal rendition of a star, so how come the sky is filled with diamonds? Dude, I told you! Stretching your body out for that long is not good for you! Hasn't Emesis done this for longer during the wrestling episode? Here you go. I feel like Pearl and her love of Steven and coddling him would love the fact that Steven's a baby. Steven is! Look. Did he have another shirt? Because I see the same right undershirt. Uh, 